Kamaljit, hi, morning. Uh, what is the rationale behind your downgrade? Now the rationale behind the downgrade is that you know, we have always viewed uh, Wipro as a trade and you know I think uh, the stock had a nice run over the last uh, few uh, weeks. I think it went out by 10 odd percent and frankly uh, there was not too much of a uh, upside uh, in the stock uh, from the uh, levels it closed at yesterday. So we just downgraded the stock. Also I think uh, the performance of the company uh, was a little bit disappointing uh, in the composition. Uh, I think one of the areas where we were, where we were really disappointed was the uh, account mining or account management in which the company uh, had made multiple years of uh, investments but has little to show for or, uh, in the last, uh, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Kavaljit, uh, uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Were you not enthused by the management commentary at all? Uh, they said Q2 will be better than Q1, H2 will be better than H1. Uh, and then even in specific verticals, they sounded positive. Not uh, impressing you? Well, that's baked into my uh, estimates and numbers. So, uh, uh, you know, the first quarter uh, marginal miss means that we probably continue to underperform uh, the industry. So, I mean, the basic, uh, you know, uh, hypothesis behind recommending in uh, Wipro is that when valuations get attractive, you recommend them. And when valuations become expensive, right, I mean, or other, there is not too much of an upside, you just, you know, take money off the table. In that case, uh, you have a buy on Infosys? That's right. <laughs> All right. Take us through the argument. I mean, how much more upside do you think it also bridges its valuation gap with TCS? So is there an earnings upside as well as a valuation upside? I think in the case of uh, Infosys, uh, uh, you know, our basic uh, uh, hypothesis has been uh, that uh, the revenue growth of the company will keep on improving as some of the initiatives uh, uh, taken by the new CEO start uh, kicking into the numbers, which is what has you know, the manifestation of that has been the June quarter, and we expect uh, you know the revenue growth momentum uh, to continue. Now, you know, with that as a backdrop, you know, what we have done is taken up our uh, revenue growth uh, estimates. And, you know, as the growth rates of uh, uh, Infosys uh, increases and converges that, uh, you know, with the industry in FI 2016 and exceeds in FI 2017, right, the multiples will also, uh, uh, you know, reflect that turnaround. Uh, so what we have done uh, with our, uh, uh, you know, our revenue estimates on Infosys is taken it by a couple of uh, percentage points and taken up the target price uh, from uh, 1125 uh, to uh, 1210 rupees, uh, uh, you know, which is essentially valuing the stock at 18 and a half times of 2017 earnings. Okay, so that, that means that the gap between Infosys and TCS has pretty much narrowed, right? Or do you expect uh, Infosys to now uh, outperform TCS as far as valuations are concerned? No, I mean, we just expect, uh, uh, you know, the gap uh, between Infosys and uh, uh, TCS uh, to narrow in terms of valuations. And between the two, uh, which stock do you think could give you a better uh, returns in the, in the next, say, uh, 12 months? Between TCS and Infosys? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, we are more positive on Infosys. I mean, as I said, uh, you know, uh, with Infosys, uh, there is a revenue growth uh, acceleration. And, you know, with that, there are probability of, uh, uh, you know, um, greater probability of uh, EPS upgrades in Infosys. So that's our, you know, our top pick in the sector. Okay. One macro and a micro question, uh, Kavaljit. Uh, as a house, do you all believe that uh, uh, the Indian IT sector is capable of reinventing itself after what you have seen? Uh, and therefore, I all, what is its strength in the overall basket uh, st in your stock distribution? Secondly, any mid-caps that you like? Sure. First and foremost, as uh, you know, as far as the question of uh, reinventing the model is concerned, I think you know Indian companies have been talking about investing in digital uh, for uh, quite some time, and uh, you know uh, that has uh, uh, you know reflected in uh, investments uh, in the business. Uh, you know whether it's basically platforms by TCS, a couple of acquisitions by Infosys. So I think uh, you know those investments will continue. Uh, we think that uh, you know Indian companies will be uh, 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 you know. Uh, 
a major beneficiary of participating in the digital uh, opportunity. Uh, the magnitude of that will uh, vary across uh, companies. So, uh, uh, you know, we do think that, uh, uh, you know, Indian companies, uh, as a result, uh, uh, you know, will have a steady uh, growth rate over the next uh, two to three years. In the initial phases, the growth uh, will be led more by, uh, you know, market share gain in cost takeout services. And over a period of time, that will be replaced by, uh, you know, growth from uh, digital. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's our, our basic uh, hypothesis on the tier one or other, you know, the Indian IT services company. As far as the question on uh, tier uh, mid-cap companies is concerned, uh, from a business model perspective, we like uh, uh, Mindtree. Uh, we think that, uh, you know, it's got the best uh, management team of the mid-tier names and uh, its ability to compound, you know, is the highest, uh, rather, you know, I mean, it will compound the fastest, you know, within the IT services, uh, mid-tier, you know, IT services uh, space. Uh, our only, uh, you know, uh, challenges that we find like Mindtree's valuations are a little bit uh, expensive. Other uh, than Mindtree, uh, 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 you know, from a business standpoint, we really don't like uh, uh, other mid-cap uh, IT names. Tech Mahindra, I mean, that one has seen a, a, the D rating in that stock has shocked a lot of investors. What would you do now? We are open to buy investors to buy uh, Tech Mahindra at the current levels. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, Tech Mahindra uh, is. Uh, in our view, a uh, you know, very interesting story. In our view, uh, Tech Mahindra has the uh, potential to be one of the leaders in the telecom verticals uh, globally. Uh, we strongly believe that the margins of the company uh, would improve uh, from uh, the trough uh, you know, it would uh, create in from the June quarter. Uh, expectations are pretty low. Uh, multiples are low. I think you know, it's got uh, all of the ingredients you know, which you would want uh, uh, you know, in a stock before buying. And I think Tech Mahindra has all those ingredients. All right, uh, Kavaljit, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us with uh, your thoughts. I guess Kavaljit's disclosure will also run for you. All right, uh, you could see... You, you, you might